welcome to the over it's 2020 the disguise podcast. has gotten much more cloak and dagger it's gotten more difficult welcome to really spot and to the over sharing podcast blank and blank ladies and gentlemen i'm here to just say that we got him we fucking got him well pathetic flaco aka poetic flaco aka the non-fba guy from uh from no jumper is using uh somebody's experience of being a victim to now blame the victim not on top of that he's not just blaming the victim he out here and my, by the way, don't don't mind this Papa John shirt because we trying to get we we suing Papa John right now. So we so every once in a while I want Papa John to see the videos and see how dirty my finger is after Papa John did that shit. So my my finger don't be dirty. Look, it's just that finger that Pop, Papa John did this to this finger. Y'all go and tell Papa John to pay me my money for this finger. But um, how do you call it? There's this, uh, there's this situation with this Somalian looking girl. I don't know where she's from, but you can tell she's like either Caribbean or like non-FBA African. So this sister starts the video with, y'all ain't gonna help me. Look what they did. Like it's, it's crazy to look at. It does look like the movie um, Hitch. Or Hitch? Hitch? Remember the movie with... Um, that movie with um, freaking with Will Smith, that Will Smith is basically like a player. So I feel like it was like that movie that it looked kind of like, like she took something or she took some type of medication or she took some type of like, like she ate peanut butter. And it looked more like, it looked more like a, like an like a allergic reaction more than anything. So just to throw it out there because there could be a possibility that shorty it just got an allergic reaction and ha only happened to hit her with a brick so then she's saying um she went on a whole run about like like oh you guys didn't help me you guys didn't help me where, where the man at like go get him like beat him up you know so it was a situation that she claimed that a stranger came to her truck try to ask for her number and as soon as she refused um, he basically hit her with a brick. You might say maybe she didn't just just gonna say her story. Like she's not gonna say everything that happened. She's not gonna say, "Well, I disrespected this dude. I did this." She probably just gonna be like, "Make it all, you know, clean and cut it." Like I was a victim. I was a victim, and I do get that aspect. I do. I do get that some people are always gonna like be like, "Nah, is it for clout?" Because like if you really get hit that hard. You gonna be like, like why are you still up there? Even in the hospital, like you more you more worry about the clout than if you have if you got a concussion. Like she went past that, like concussion thing. She just wants the clout. Like look at me, I want the whole world to see me, which is understandable too. Cause like, are you gonna say that uh, Emma Till's mother was chasing clout by putting Emma Till's body in the in a newspaper, huh? Was she clout chasing? So you cannot blame a victim and say, yo, this victim is like being too victimy. Why are you being victimized? She legitimately has a problem where like somebody that hit her in her head. And I was like, wow, you know? Like, let, let's, let's, you know, but but we're not here for that. Y'all seen that she got hit. If you go on my video right here, I already, I already talked about that. Like, are we supposed to step in and stuff like that? Like, I still kind of was like on a on a on a on a go. Of like, look, there's situations. You that see I this shit even when we help animals. Start. Everybody we... was saying I was saying that before I watched this video. Well, so like, how do you call it? Um, that there's situations that men get killed, and and like the only life you can save is your own. Don't be saving nobody's life. And they're like, sometimes women be having domestic violence. Shit. Cops kill their wife more than anybody, any other profession. So should, should I go to cops' houses and tell them, like, you know, like, all women do when they call the cops is call another woman abuser. <laughs> tell you the truth, you know? 
So, like, the aspect of, of blaming the victim, I get it. Or the aspect of, like, do you blame men? Like, blame the one guy. Blame one man. Don't blame all men in society. But she was just mad. That was, that's how she coped. She coped with, fuck all y'all niggas, you know? So, there's allegation that she, she you know, that she is also a lesbian. So, you know, she just, she was mad. You know, you let her cope. At that moment, she could cope. Now, we're not here for that. We're here because pathetic Flacco decided to put this title. She's a man. First of all, that's incorrect politically and incorrect regardless, you know? Because if she's a cisgender woman, like a born woman, she's a woman. If she's a uh, a woman uh, that that tra trans transcended to another uh, gender, guess what? She's a woman, regardless. So just by you calling her a man, you're forcing another title on her. Just leave her alone. What does her sex has to do with something over here? Like she got here right here. You're talking about over here. So. That's a repetitive pattern that I see with African men, and not just with African men, but with Flores Flacos, um, like following. For example, I went to a to a LGBT uh, festival during June because it's everywhere. So I went and support lesbians. Oh, I went to a lesbian event, like the lesbian. It was like on the second day they had a lesbian. Um, community something. So I went to support all lesbian, you know, and shout out to the lesbians, you know, and I met Amber Rose in this picture right here. You will see Amber Rose in that event with her beautiful family who is a heterosexual, most likely a bisexual woman. So, bro, why are we so caught up on people's sex and gender and shit like that? Like, like leave that, leave that justice of like, Burning somebody and, 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 and because they stole something or because they stole a TV, leave that shit over there in Africa. You know, with, respectably, leave that Sharia law over there in Africa. Don't try to ingrain that type of mentality here because that's illegal. That's that's you pushing a hate crime. For example, look what he said right here. Uh, speaking about one. men helping women, there are theories being floated out there that she's not even a woman. Videos like this, where she speaks about trans women and cis women, leave concerns that she's not a woman at all. But I'm really talking to like cis women because like, it's giving y'all real jealous. Like y'all real jealous because they can, will, and have pulled your ninja. All the trans girls ever did was teach y'all how to wear makeup because yes, the makeup you wear today is trans makeup. They teach y'all how to do y'all hair. They got y'all hair together. And I'm like, what do y'all think those BBL bodies are? Because the legs, hips, and body, body. Y'all got that from the trans girls. Let's keep it real. Now, I'm not talking about a girl with a big ass. Because, you know, shout out to Somalia, video. shout out to Nigeria, shout out to Africa. Whoop, the whole black it's diaspora. Boy. We've been here, big butts, small backs. I'm talking about this whole 20-inch waist. And then, like, you look at his comment, right he's a bunch of hate. Big yeah, butt, all that, that, that body. And then, there, and then there's comments up there like, fuck, that fuck much, women. Trans women have always it's had. It's very like, and now y'all running very like, fuck, 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 like, fuck that Y'all love the trans girls. Liar. They she's taught y'all how to sissy, y'all fucking walk. And it's kind of like, whoa, 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 whoa. So that's the problem with Flacco is that he throws that little idea there. So now all the, and I know you're trying to get your numbers. I'm trying to get my numbers, but I'm trying to be in the right part of history. You are a liability to our community. Like, you're doing it to a black person regardless. And another thing is he put this comment right here, like, like oh, like, because in, in, the, in the video, he made it seem like the guy that attacked him was the old guy, which that's dangerous. You got to verify that. You got to say in different events. She likes recording herself. She's a content creator. She's a woman. She's allowed to do that. She's doing a lot of things that is illegal, is legal to do. She getting hit by a brick? Where where was your comments about the guy hitting her? Then like, bro, why are you hitting? You know, even if it's a transsexual, why are you hitting transsexuals for? Are you that mad? 
What does it matter to you? What he does or what he or what she does or what what they do, you know? What does it matter? Like it's not my business. It's not my business. That's why I be like, it's not my business. It's not your business. It's mind your business. But don't be trying to show push hate. Cause now you're gonna get everybody to think that she's a a a, 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 a transsexual. And we still don't know and I still don't care. She should not get hit by it like that. So shorty, get well and Fat boy, get well too, man. Do some exercise, some push ups, and some shit, you know? Stop criticizing women so much. It's like, we get it. You hate women. We get it. We get it. That's, that was just my, my uh, I wanted to get a, a, like a, like a thumbnail. My bad. Peace. I'm out. Your boy, Avo. Make sure you subscribe to my uh, Twitter, J Lerma. Make sure you go and, and support over shit. Oversharing, go go on um, on Instagram and put oversharing with, with one with two H's, so two H like shh. shh. Welcome to the Oversharing Podcast. Welcome to the Oversharing Podcast. Again, my body grows tough. Hey, Jenkins, pray! The end comes for us all!